When I watch a horror flick with my wife, she'll warn me when she thinks a character is going to die. It's not because she has some special insight. In fact, she's terrible at anticipating movie twists. She just doesn't want to risk getting surprised. On New Year's Eve 2014, I had the option to think the worst. Rebecca went into respiratory failure, was placed on life support, and I was told she might not survive for more than a few days. Though she survived the next six months on a ventilator, her prognosis didn't change. Her only hope was a double lung transplant, so it was hard to hear that qualifying for one was a long shot. I had to make the daily decision to be optimistic. Dwelling on a worst case would have made me more miserable, and I'd have become a pretty ineffective support system for her. Optimism didn't get us through the transplant. It got us through the half year leading up to and including the transplant. And like the Facebook memes tell us, life's all about the journey. That's why the risk of being too hopeful and being let down is a much better option than expecting something miserable all along.